Hey guys, it's Laurie from Cook, Scrub, Craft, and I'm going to share with you the books that I plan on reading for the month of April. It's kind of a weird month because usually I would have been to the library. I would have picked up some books. I might have gotten like a book or two to review. And actually, if you go to the blog, I have reviewed some children's books, which I think are really awesome and might be perfect for, I don't know, putting in your kid's Easter basket, you know, giving an order from Amazon or wherever you order books because um, I think they're really cute. So check those out. Those are uh, going to be reviewed on the blog really soon. Um, but yeah, because we've been just stuck at home, um, I haven't been, you know, out looking for books uh, and getting books from the library. The library is closed until at least April 20th. I did have some library books that were overdue um, <laughs> that they actually called me and they were like, don't worry, we renewed them for you. Um, just bring them back when we reopen. So I've been reading those still, which is great, but now we're into a new month and I've kind of gone through all of those books, um, which were on my last month's to read list. So check out that video. But um, yeah, so now I'm kind of going into, and thank goodness I have it, I'm going into my big physical to read list, which is basically just a bunch of books that I picked up at Book Expo a couple years ago. Um, and of course, Book Expo, which was supposed to be happening at the end of May, I was going to be going to Book Con at the very beginning of June, and that has been postponed because of coronavirus until the end of July. So I won't even, like, I don't even have that to look forward to really soon. Uh, it's going to be a, like another, <sighs> another uh, couple of weeks that I have to wait to get books from there. But anyway, it's fine. Totally fine. Everybody's staying safe. It's the perfect time to stay in and read books unless you have children and then um, you don't have as much free time, but that's okay. That's okay. So what am I planning on reading this month? So first off, I picked two books that had been on my to read list before. Um, Shrill by Lindy West based on the Hulu series, which we no longer have Hulu. So now I can't even watch it anymore. Fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to read this one. I was supposed to read it last year and never got around to it. And then House of Gold, which I think was also on my to read list last year. I'm going to read this one, kind of a big one. So it'll probably take me like a week and a half, two weeks to get through it, which is, is fine. I've got nothing but time. So I'll read those two books. Um, I can't, this one is like a historical fiction um, period piece takes place during I think the 19, early 1900s. And it's supposed to be, if you like, you know, Downton Abbey, that kind of thing. And then this one is um, Lindy West is a writer. I think this is more of like a memoir of her life. And then the TV series is based on this. So anyway, then I picked some books. I only picked three books and I'm trying to keep it like the numbers low this month, because again, I, I have a lot of time, but I also have a child. So I don't really know how much free time I'm going to have to read a lot of books. Um, so only picked three from my big physical to read list. This is the crossroads of must or of should and must it's find and follow your passion. What better time to find your passion than while you're stuck at home looking for something to do. I love the way this is bound. Um, it came, it's from Workman Publishing and it was published back in 2015. So it should probably be really easy to find. And you know, the inside of it kind of looks like this. It's like part regular book, part like artsy. Um, so I think it's going to be really fun to read through it and just, you know, kind of get some, um, some inspiration from the author. The author is L. Luna. Um, and I think it'll be, even though it is, you know, kind of looks like a big book, um, because of the way everything is laid out where there's like, this only has one thing on a page. Um, I think it's probably going to be easy to read, although maybe you'd want to read a couple pages and then like stop and take it in, maybe do some journaling or something about it. But, um, yeah, I'll let you know what I think of it once it's done. Um, another book that I'd gotten back in, I think this was Book Expo 2015. Yeah, this came out in September 2015. This is a book called Dreams Think Dream Things True. Um, and it's supposed to be like a, you know, Romeo and Juliet type of romance. So this is young adult. Um, I did pick it up from Book Expo to review and I never got around to reading it. Um, I was pregnant that year, so I had a lot of other things going on. Uh, but it's by Marie Marquart. Marquart. This is an advanced reader's edition. Um, so obviously this is not the final cover. I think it probably looks more like that if you're looking for it at your bookstore or bookstore online, I guess now. Um, so I'll let you know what I think about it once I finish that one as well. And then I also had picked up Prodigal. It's actually, this is kind of interesting. Um, 
it's book two on one side and then it's book three on the other side which I think is kind of cool um, I don't have book one so I hope that when I start reading this I'm not totally lost if you know the lost Imperials series and you have read book one maybe you could fill me in in the comments um, so yeah book book two is like this and then you flip it over and book three is like this which is pretty cool so um, this is obviously this is young adult I think it's young adult um, it's by Tyler H. Jolly and Sherry D. Ficklin um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's young adult but it's as you can kind of see it's a little like science fiction-y uh, which is kind of perfect because I'm actually this month going to be reworking the science fiction novel that I started during November's National Novel Writing Month. I think they're doing like a Camp Na NaNoWriMo this month in April. I'm not really participating with that. I'm just trying to take an hour each day put my kid in front of the TV and just for an hour, just like write and kind of go, go back through the story. I'm like reworking everything and just kind of starting from scratch a little bit. So we'll see what happens with it at the end of this month. If you are doing Cap NaNoWriMo or if you've edited your November uh, book, let me know how that was, how that's been going for you. Um, and these are the five books that I plan on reading in April. So what books are you reading? Are you going back through your bookshelves and kind of rating them, rating your own personal library and rereading anything? interesting or do you have a do you have a stack of books at home are you buying books online right now I'd love to know what you guys are doing um, to keep your your book reading satisfied so leave a comment below give this video a thumbs up like make sure you subscribe for more fun book and scrapbook stuff and I'll see you guys next time happy reading